Hey, it's Perry from Gear Diary, and I'm stoked today because I've got the Evolve Skateboards Carbon GT here to uh, to unbox and then take out for a spin. Really excited because uh, they sent the two-in-one version, so you've got the off-road tires, the all-terrain tires, and you've got the uh, street conversion kit as well with the street wheels. So I'm just going to open her up and uh, see what we've got in store. Uh, Evolve was also nice enough to uh, send one of their burn helmets because safety first, right? Let's open her up. Wow. This, this skateboard is a beauty. Try to get this out of the way here. You can just see how magnificent this board looks. Super clean lines, thin. The carbon fiber is just handsome as hell. You see that? Check that out. Let's look at the back. Got the uh, heat sink here. You got the power button as well as the uh, charging port. Got the nice trucks here. The all-terrain tires, inflated to uh, 50 psi, so you can go over some some bumps with that and barely feel it. I'm just amazed at how elegant this board is. How thin it is compared to so many other boards on the market. Just look at that. Look how thin that is. That's really quite incredible. Inside we've got the accessory kit here, so let's take a look at that. Just got the, uh, the paperwork. Some stickers, the, uh, the user manual there. We've got the charger in here. We got the uh, the brick the brick charger there. Got the R2 remote, which I'm really excited about. We'll take a look at that in a second. Got the uh, the wrench right here, so you're likely to change out the tires. We've also got some uh, loose Allen wrenches in here. Uh, for maintenance. I'll put this over to the side. We'll take a look at the uh, street conversion kit. And here you've got some 83 millimeter street tires, street wheels. Got the uh, bands and the pulleys. Everything you need uh, to in the bearings. Everything you need to uh, turn your uh, your off-roading or all-terrain skateboard into a street board. Let's take a look at the remote. It comes in its own case. It's a nice touch. It comes in its own carbon fiber looking case. The remote, well, that action feels nice. So you've got a trigger for your pointer, and then a trigger for the uh, your thumb. I'll figure out what that does. You've also got a, a button here for your other fingers. Again, not sure what that does, but I'll I'll check it out. Looks like we have a screen there as well. And inside the case, you have the uh, USB charger, as well as a lanyard and a uh, and a carabiner. So. We'll definitely, definitely put those to use. All right, let's see if we can turn on the. Uh... There it goes. Wow, look at that. So you've got speed on here. You've got your trip mileage there. I don't know if you can see that. You've got the uh, the board battery, um, and you've got the mode. So I'm on safe mode right now.
pretty cool. I'm excited to check it out. So uh, I'm gonna take this on the road pretty soon. Uh, as you can see, it's nighttime out, so I'm probably not gonna take it out tonight, but I can't wait to get on the road with this. We're going to take some footage, and then I'll come back with a full review. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. And I'm back. I gotta say, uh, after a few weeks with this board, I'm super impressed with the, uh, what Evolve's doing. Uh, not only is this a gor gorgeous board, I mean, just look at that carbon fiber detail. Uh, it's like a really one-piece design. It's molded around the batteries in here. Uh, you got the option to switch out the all-terrain uh, tires for uh, street wheels. Um, this is an excellent, excellent board. Um, tons of power. Uh, this board's got 3,000 watts of power, so uh, that gets you going really fast. And a, you know, a guy like me, I'm not a skinny guy, uh, this can get me up hills. Uh, they say that it can go up to 25% grade on hills and GT mode. Uh, it can go up to 26 miles per hour using the street wheels or uh, 25 miles per hour with the all-terrain. Uh, as far as the um, the battery capacity. It's got a range of about 18 and a half miles uh, on the all-terrain wheels and about 31 miles on street. So, you know, if you're using this for commuting, uh, you won't need to recharge it that often. Um, it's a little heavy, and that would be one of my only complaints. It's slightly heavy. Uh, it's about 21 pounds uh, in all-terrain mode and about, I think, 17 uh, using the street wheels. So again, uh, it's a little heavy, like if you're gonna be carrying it a lot, that's like that's really my only complaint. Um, the remote here is, is excellent. Uh, it's the best uh, electric skateboard remote I've used. The uh, It's got four modes. It's got slow, eco, fast, and GT. Uh, I'll say I, I rarely use this board on GT because Honestly, this board's got so much power. Uh, I was a little afraid. Honestly, I've got a wife and kids, you know, I don't, uh, I don't want to hurt myself, but uh, I felt the torque on this thing and, and, and the crazy power uh, coming out of these motors. Um, but really ergonomic remote. Uh, you've got the, uh, the gas in your fingertip and the brake on your thumb. Um, and you know, it's got some safety features. You have to grip the remote in order to start it like that um, yeah I, I, I can't say enough good things about this board again uh, my only com my really only main complaint is that it's a little heavy so if you think you're gonna be carrying it a lot you might want to consider that uh, but also the only other minor complaint and again this is minor it's just you know it depends on your uh, what you like in a board but it's not that flexy it doesn't have that flexibility that the um, Evolve bamboo uh, would have. 
So if you're if you're considering that, you might want you know you want a flexi board um, with you know really good turning. Uh, you might want to consider the bamboo. Uh, but for again for a you know a, a not so skinny guy like myself, uh, the carbon is you know more recommended because it's not as flexi. So it's a better ride for guys like me. But overall, I got to say I'm really impressed. I, I love this board. I wish I could ride it every day. Uh, you know, I'm sad to be sending this back to uh, Evolve, but you know, thanks for watching. Thanks Evolve for sending it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope it was uh, it was helpful, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.